Another way to bind data in templates with Angular is through property binding. We can write a template property binding when we want to set a property of a view element to the value of a template expression. We have already learned how to display component properties using the double curly braces syntax, that is interpolation. What we want to do now is to bind an elements property to the component property. HTML elements have various properties such as class, href, disabled, source for an image, and text content, and so on. So let's first try to bind an image's source property to a property in the component. To do this, we'll go to our app.component.ts file and add a property called image URL and assign it some value. I have an image over here in the assets called happy-face.png. So let me assign this path to the image URL property. So I'm gonna do image URL equal to, and then the path. I'm gonna say assets slash images slash happy, sorry, that's a hyphen. By the way, Assets is the place where you want to store your project images and that's the recommended location. And back in the template, I want to add an image tag. So I'm going to do IMG and then for the source, I'll have to give the image URL, which is a property of the component here. And then I'm going to close this image tag. And when you save this file, you will notice that the image may not get displayed. See that? That's because you need to use Angular's property binding syntax. So we do this with a specific syntax, a pair of square braces around the property name on an element, and then you will have your image displayed. So I'm gonna do this within the square braces, and that's the syntax for property binding. And when you do this and save your file, the image gets displayed as expected. Let's try another one. In this example, we'll be disabling a button when the component says that the button is not available. Let's create a property called is disabled and assign it to the disabled property of a button. Over in the browser, we should see that there's a button being displayed and uh, we are able to click that. Now let's try to change this value of is disabled to true. And when we save this file, over in the browser, we should see that the button is now disabled. See that? I'm not able to click it anymore. Now let's do yet another interesting property binding that is going to be similar to how you bind data using interpolation. Text content is a native DOM property to get us set the textual content of an element. So let's see how we can bind the app component property to the text content property. Over in the browser, we can see that the title is displayed. So this is similar to how we did interpolation using the double curly braces syntax. So instead of doing this, we could as well do an interpolation. And so if we could put the title and save it, over in the browser, we see that it's the same result. So we can do it either way. 